give a warm deaf voice to welcome to Mike Booker. I haven't even begun to spill my life stories onto these pages. Some people saying they know how hard it must have been. And I'm asking myself how? Because you heard a couple of my poems, we learned the time the gunshots, they happen so much. 745, 917, 1123, 136 in the morning, nigga, every night, ducking below window sills. My grandmother used to tell me, be grateful for what you got. Some people got it rougher than you. And I couldn't see how when the lights and heat didn't work. Had to walk to the dinner table with a candle and two blankets on just to keep warm. We ate peanut butter sometimes so we won't go to bed hungry. I lived between danger and a stop sign. Learned the streets backwards. I was outside so much better yet. Learned the streets better than the back of my hand. Better yet, learned the streets better than the back of my father's head because that's all I ever saw once. When I was 15, I went with Chris to go shoot at some niggas over his baby moms and a gunshot missed my chest by six inches while I listened to the stories that rotated around the neighborhood blocks like squad cars. Lit Jerry, his three brothers, four younger sisters had to sleep on cardboard boxes in the garage at the end of my alley because his mother did drugs too bad. Miss Adams down the street had six sons. All of them sold drugs. Neither one of them ever saw age 19. The youngest killed a week before his 19th birthday. And you wonder why it's a curse to be stuck here for Ever. School never meant nothing to me because everybody from Kinsey to Cicero was on welfare. The property tax was so low. Teachers fresh from college would come work at my school for two months so they could get a job somewhere in the suburbs. So they could put on their resume. I worked in the inner city like they was in the trenches of war. And you think we didn't know what was happening when we had four different fifth grade teachers analyze my life and tell me how many opportunities I've had to break down stereotypes. The first thing I learned how to count was drug money. My hood is full of kings and queens who evolved its peasants over the time span of 500 years. My ancestry was ripped away from me, replaced with guns and drugs, thugs and crackheads, misdemeanors, felonies and jail bars. But my grandmother used to tell me, you got a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food in your stomach. Be grateful for what you got. Some people got it rougher than you. Good 